in his poetry uh, john don a metaphysical poet uh, he uh, lived in the elizabethan period uh, during uh, shakespeare's time uh, 16th century uh, but he's unusual poet because he uh, wrote some morality poets poems uh, based on some christianity so this poem better my heart but this one is very significant uh, and very different from other poems uh, that uh, we call early uh, john keats romantic poet but this one uh, uh, deals with the religions especially the christianity and the poet ask the god and request the god to batter his heart and reshape it because he opposed the god and committed many sins and wants his heart to be purified as father son and holy spirit the poet thinks that this life is a misery and he wants to enjoy real happiness after death the poet then compares himself to a city conquered by another sovereign he accepts that god gave him a good logical mind as a protector who protected him from satan and from evil powers but now he thinks that the reason his mind is not so powerful to be protected from evils the poet here represents an afflicted lover of the god who is hurt because he is diverted from the holy path to the path of sin he urges god to take away his body and make it chaste but he has engaged with god's enemy he wishes divorce to untie or break the marriage knot and he requests god to take him with him imprison him and never never shall let him free he would be purified if god carries him off now the second question how does the poet brings out his theme using poetic imagery there are several themes that emerge in the poem better my heart by john don god against satan faith in god love and the desire to be with the god can be highlighted among them to define this theme in the reader's mind he uses strong images and other poetic strategies the poet asks god to enter and resume the poet's life thereby saving him from the power of sarta it develops through three main images the first is that of a blacksmith repairing a damaged vessel and has behind him the idea of god as creator the following two images both explain don's simple nature by comparing him to the victim of a violent assault first in military terms it's like a city which was briefly captured and led by the enemy then in sexual terms it is like a woman forced to marry against her will in each case don suggests that god must act in an equally violent manner to save him by reclaiming the city or by ravishing the woman and thus annulling the bad marriage the images of assault are develop is undoubtedly dramatic but perhaps leaves the modern reader feeling uncomfortable better my heart you are forced to break 
blow, burn and make me new. The idea that the Christian church can be seen as the bride of Christ comes from the Bible, but Don's image makes Christ a ravisher, not just a husband. It is as if Don feels that an image which is strong enough for other men and women is not powerful enough for him. The poet uses some paradox, ideas logically unaccepted, to evoke some senses of sexuality to create his desire to be with the God. The poet asks God to capture and ravish him so that he can be chaste. Except you enthrall me, never be free, nor ever chaste, except you ravish me. Here, enthrall is defined as a sexual image and has sexual metaphor. On the other hand, the word ravish has many literal meanings as ceasing, carrying off, or having sex possibly. It, if, this, sorry, if these words are regarded as sexual connotation, the speaker may appear in the female role of ravishment. John Don is conscious of the sinful nature and he conveys his feelings in a language charged with the sentimentality. Use of metaphor is extensive. He compares God with thinker and himself with a pot. Uh, he compares his soul with the town. This town he compasses is inhabited by devils and he cannot be redeemed with ordinary mending, so God should shatter him completely and reshape him. Don's religious and his magnificent sermons reach as found in heights of subtlety and intensity. The searching of the soul and the horrified fascination with which he contemplated and realized his awful sin in battle my heart with amazed sin Sincerity, intensity, and earnestness is, of course, not worthy in the poem. The language has the same intensity with mood and experience, and Don's grand style of expression, noble thought in this poem, deserves admiration. 